Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding an expression of the form x plus a all cubed. So we've got these two examples here. Now when something is cubed what that means is you multiply it by itself and by itself again. So it's x plus 2 times by x plus 2 times by x plus 2. Just like if you had uh, 4 cubed that means 4 times 4 times 4 x plus 2 cubed means x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2. Now we know how to expand out two brackets, we don't know how to expand out three brackets necessarily. And what you do is you just pick two of the brackets, it could be say the first and the second or the second and the third, and you multiply those out first. So I'm going to pick the second and the third bracket and I'm going to multiply these two out. So I'm going to leave the x plus 2 as it is, and in a big bracket here, I'm going to expand these two brackets out. So remember how we multiply out two brackets? We do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. So this x in the first bracket is going to be multiplied by each of these things in the second. So the x gets times by the x, and the x gets times by the 2. And then you do the second thing here multiplied by each of the things in the second bracket. So the 2 times the x, and the 2 times the 2. So let's do that. x times x is x squared x times 2 is 2x plus 2x, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 2 is 4. So we've expanded out those brackets. Let's just tidy up in that bracket now by collecting like terms. Now remember, terms only like terms if they involve the same variable, the same letters, and the same powers. Now look at these four terms. This is the only x squared term. It's the only thing that has a squared on the x. These are both x terms, so 2 lots of x plus 2 lots of x is 4 lots of x, and we still got that plus 4, that's known as a constant term because it doesn't have a variable in it. And now we've got two brackets, and we can deal with these two brackets in exactly the same way as we would usually expand two brackets. So we do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second. So we do this x here multiplied by each of the things in the second bracket, and then we're going to do the 2 in this first bracket, multiplied by each of the things in the second. So, x times each of these three things. We've got x times x squared, which is x cubed. x times 4x, well, x times x is x squared, so it's 4x squared. And if that confuses you, do watch my video on multiplying algebraic terms. Then we've got the x times the 4, which is 4x. Let's get these other ones. 2 times x squared, 2 lots of x squared is 2x squared. 2 lots of 4x is 8 lots of x, and 2 times 4 is 8. And now we just need to collect like terms to tidy up. So, if I underline these with the plus or the minus on front of each of these terms, so it's plus 4x squared plus 4x, we've got an x cubed term here. Now, these don't involve x cubed, these other terms. So, x cubed is the only x cubed term there, so it doesn't collect with anything else. What about x squared terms? Well, we've got an x squared term here, an x squared term here. 4 lots of x squared plus 2 lots of x squared is 6 lots of x squared. And I tend to cross them off as I go along. So we got rid of that, we got rid of these two. Now we've got 4 lots of x plus 8 lots of x, they're like terms, that gives you 12 lots of x. And we've got this constant term, as we call it, at the end, the plus 8. And that's the final answer. We can't simplify this any further. Let's do the second one. So x minus 4 all cubed means x minus 4 times by itself, times by itself. As per my advice before, we either use the first two brackets and expand those out, or the second two brackets and expand those out. So I'm going to just choose these two here. So I'm going to leave the x minus 4 as it is and put a big empty bracket here. And I do each thing in this bracket times each thing in this second. So x times the x, x times the minus 4 minus 4 times the x and minus 4 times the minus 4. So that gives you x squared. i do this relatively quickly. x times the minus 4 is minus 4x. The minus 4 times x is minus 4x. And the minus 4 times the minus 4 is plus 16. As before, let's always tidy up as we go along. So that's the only x squared term. Minus 4 lots of x minus 4 lots of x is minus 8 lot of x. And we've got the plus 16. And now we've got two brackets which we can expand out. So we do the x times each of the things in the second bracket. And then we do the minus 4 times each of the things in the second bracket. So the x gets times by the x squared, which is x cubed. The x gets times by the minus 8x, which is minus 8x squared. The x gets times by the 16, which is plus 16x. 
Then we do the minus 4 times each of these things. Minus 4 times x squared is minus 4x squared. Minus 4 times minus 8x, well, negative times negative is positive 32x. And finally, minus 4 times 16 will be negative 64. And then, last thing is just collect like terms. We've only got one x cubed term. Cross it off. Uh, we've got this minus 8x squared minus 4x squared, which is minus 12 lots of x squared. Cross these off, just keep track. And then we've got 16x plus 32x, that's plus 48x. And then finally we've got the constant term, the minus 64, and that is the final answer.